hello everyone welcome to another episode of basic to advanced t-shirt design in this one i am going to show you a option that is called type on a path that means on regular we can type like with type tool that is the t option here text tool or type tool this one with that we can simply type but there are some other options in this type tool that is area type tool type on a path tool vertical type tool these are all they all have different options of their own but the mostly we use this one type on a path tool this is really important for our t-shirt design so i'm going to work with this one today and there is one more option that is really important that is obviously we use the type tool for typing anything but after that we use this type on a path tool and then another option we use that is called the task type tool so task type tool is maybe i showed this in the type section of this series but today i'm going to work on this type on a path tool so as you can see here once we activate this type tool it gives us this cursor that is if we click with this option activated anywhere we can type there you can type in anything there and it will be typed so that is the normal type tool and then here there is option called type on a path if we select this one it shows us a different kind of cursor as you can see it is showing a curve and a cursor so type on a path is when we want to type anything or we want to place a text in a not in a very regular way let me show you let's say in my design i need to place a text like this I need, it, need to place a text following this line and for doing this kind of designs or placing text like this we can simply draw any shape like this we can simply draw any simple line we can draw a complex line anything we want we can draw and then if we select that one we can we can go to this type on a path tool and when the type on a path tool activated we can simply click on any any of this anchor point you can see if I click here it is going to give me an option to type along that path so I can simply type in here I can simply type anything and once the type is done I can simply click on this selection tool and then I can increase the text size to fit in my that path so you can see it is going along that shape and this is really cool so if I select this one I can take this type on a path tool click here and then i can simply type in anything and it is going to follow that shape there and this is really important for t-shirt design we need to use this a lot so this is the regular way but in general we need an ellipse or we place the text something like that on a ellipse we take a ellipse you can make this a stroke if you like no fill only a stroke color and then select type on a path tool and then click on any of these four anchor points so it can start from there now before doing this one we need to understand one thing on a type there is two way two option like this is this is a regular text you can see so there is a starting point you can see it there and there is an ending point so on a path of course it has an ending a starting point and the ending point so if we click here it is going to wherever we are going to click it is going to start from there i can click here it is going to start from here and then it will follow all the way that is left so that is fine but in a shape like this you can see this is a ellipse so there is no starting point there is no ending point that means this is a close path so on a close path you can simply select the type on a path tool you can click on any anchor point you want then it is going to start typing from there so you can simply click there and then we can type in anything here and once the text or type is done we can increase or decrease the size we can change the font if you want but there is one more one thing i want to recommend that never use a script font in this kind of type on a path tool it doesn't look very good so always try to use something that is kind of a bolder looking or boxy looking font so for boxy looking i am referring to this one so this anton or explorer or anything that is kind of boxy looking or that does not have any kind of smaller or capital letter problem 
it is just all capital letter and this looks good now when your type is done you will find three point of a type on a path tool you can see this two point here this is defining the starting point and the ending point so i clicked here so as it is a close path it is it is starting from here and it will go all the way then end here in that exact same point where i started so it is going to start from here and then go around and then end here and there is one more way that one more option that is this one and this one will define the direction of the text so as you can see right now i am typing it here and the text upper part of the text is in this area but i can change that with this too so sometimes when you are working it will maybe it can hide so i will show you how to how to bring that back but once our type is done we can simply select this one or you can simply select on try to select any one if you are close to that shape it is going to show you a, a small arrow with your cursor tool if you can see that and when that arrow is visible you can simply click and drag to change the starting ending point to anywhere like this so now it is starting from here ending here that means it is not going to come in this direction it is only staying starting from here and then coming this way to end here now once we define this two point we can simply click on this center option and that is going to put our text in center so in a design we can simply paste a text like this and with this one this middle point that we can you can see now as as i as i was saying sometime it hides those anchor points and to bring them back you need to press arrow key on your keyboard so simply press one time right and then bring that back with one time left you can tie you can press up and down you can press left and right anywhere you want but pressing any arrow key will bring them back it will be easier to select now you can see this is the direction of my text if i select this one and drag it down i can change the direction of my text like this this is really important so this middle anchor point defines the direction of the text and these two anchor point define the starting and ending point now this is really good and this is looking good but if we want to place a same text in this opposite direction how can we do that so simply i am going to copy this one ctrl c then i am going to press ctrl f here so that will give me two text you can see i have two text here and once i have two text on the upper one i am going to you can simply click here it is going to select the top one then select this point to bring that in the opposite direction it can take some time for you to adjust your hand to place them like this but it can be done like this now there is a problem as you can see this text is looking really good but this one is not or it is not matching with the shape here it is not being a perfect circular text and for avoiding this problem or fixing this problem all you need to do is select this one then go to type option then here you will find type on a path and then inside that you will find type on a path options click on that it is going to give us this dialog box here now you can see there is some settings here we can change but you can also you can try them and see what happens but in regular first of all click the preview button to see what is going on and then simply you need to change one thing here that is align to path this align to path okay let me show you when we are typing anything like it can be a regular text when we are typing anything there is a small line you can see that is going just in the bottom area of our text so that is called the base line that means whenever i am pressing any i am typing anything it is going to type from that direction that base line so it is going to type in from this base line so in this text the base line is in the bottom of the text you can see if i copy and control f paste in front then bring that in the opposite direction like this you can see it is going to okay it doesn't matter you can simply modify it if i am placing it like this you can see in this text the baseline is in the bottom and also in this text the baseline is in the bottom and that is not matching because in this direction the baseline should be on top because it is in the opposite direction let's not get confused so that is called the baseline so we need to change that so first of all go to type type on a path type on a path options and from here you can simply change this baseline to center 
that will if i turn on the preview that will place our place that baseline in the center of the text you can see that baseline is now going from the center of our text and that is the perfect setting click ok and once you are done with this setting now you can simply copy this paste in front then you can simply bring that in the opposite direction and as the both in both text the baseline is in the center you can see this is perfectly matching with one another so let me show you if i make the text bigger like that i can simply okay so you can see this is perfectly matching with each other so this is the secret of a perfect circular text you need to change the baseline and this is the type on a path tool we will use this a lot in our design and you will understand when i will be using them in different designs but this is the setting i wanted to share so that's all for type on a path tool i hope you will learn something new from this one see you in the next one